Ah, that's so nice. They're helping them dig a burrow already. Wait a minute. What's going on? They are not helping them. They are getting ready for a fight. Do you see the blue kingfisher? I can't see. Oh, I see something. Bye-bye, <gasps> Birdie. Oh, man. Maybe next time. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Jane. What's up? A meerkat. Huh? A meerkat is up on my head, Leo. Zumi and I found a family of meerkats looking for a new home. A family of meerkats? How many of them are there? A few. Do you know where we should take them? I think that's a question for our computer. To the treehouse? Race you there. Let's see. Meerkats. Here we go. Meerkats live in groups called mobs. They can be found in the deserts and grasslands of Africa. A mob of meerkats lives together in underground burrows. Living underground keeps them cool and safe from other animals. Everyone in the mob has a job to do. Some meerkats look for food, some babysit, while some are sentries. Sentries stand in high places and look out for danger. When they sense danger approaching, they warn the rest with an alarm call. The mob will then run and hide in their burrows. So, the meerkats on top of your heads must be the sentries. I guess they wanted a better view, but they cannot stay on top of my head forever. We need to help the meerkats find a new place for their burrows. Yes, we do. We'll be right over to help. Ranger out. Ranger out. Come on, Katie. Let's go help the meerkats find a new home. Huh? Was that an alarm call? Hi, Jane. Oh, no. What's wrong? They are afraid of you and Katie. The sentry sounded an alarm. The meerkats think we're a danger to them. Don't be scared. We're here to help. Huh? What are they digging at? They are trying to get to their old home. But it doesn't look anything like an underground burrow. What happened? Hmm. The sand. It is damp. There was a flood. Oh, the burrow was destroyed. Poor little meerkats. It's no wonder they're looking for a new home. Come on, Junior Rangers. It's up to us to help them. Let us help you find the perfect new home. I think they like the idea. They should do. All right. Hop on, everyone. Let's roll. Hero? Ow! Oh, it looks like we're full. But I'm sure we can find some space for you and Zumi. Do not worry, Katie. We will follow on foot. All right. Then away we go. It is you two again. Come now. Hang tight. This is perfect. There are trees for them to look out from, plenty of sand, and lots of open space for them to build their burrows. And look, neighbors. Ah, that's so nice. They're helping them dig a burrow already. Wait a minute. What's going on? They are not helping them. They are getting ready for a fight. Uh-oh. We have to stop them. Huh? What's that? Is it a hawk? Is it an eagle? No, it is Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! And not a moment too soon. You've got to get those meerkats out of here. Meerkats aren't neighborly animals. They're territorial. Territorial? That means they don't like other meerkats that are not in their mob coming into their space. What you just saw was a meerkat war dance. By fluffing out their fur and raising their tails, they're trying to make themselves look bigger and scarier than they really are to chase other meerkats away from their home. Oh no! They're out of 
it again. Meerkat sentries have a special call to warn the others of danger, right? Uh-huh. I know a way to stop them. Katie, on my command, I need you to play the Meerkat alarm call on your tablet. The rest of us will grab our Meerkats and get into Platypus One quick. Their alarm call? <gasps> oh, I get it. Short thing. We're going to make them forget all about the fight. Rangers, are you ready? Ready when you are, Leo. All right. Katie, hit it. It is working. The meerkats are distracted by the call. Now's our chance to get them out of here. Quick, grab as many meerkats as you can. You're coming with me. We have to go now, meerkats. Pardon me. Oops. Sorry. Ugh, this is uncomfortable. And that's everyone. Then let's get out of here. If you're looking for a new home for the meerkats, I know a place. So, what do you think? There's a lot of space for you to build burrows. And I don't see other meerkats around. There is also a tree for you, Sentry. I think they're finally home. Mission accomplished. I think we should go back, Pico. Junior Ranger Pale, what's going on? Hi, Leo. I'm stuck in the middle of a river, and there's a giant monster fish in the water. A giant monster fish? Yeah, here's a picture of it. <gasps> Whoa, it does look scary. I don't know, Leo. We can't see it clearly. Let's clean up the image on the computer. Good idea, Katie. I'm right behind you. Let's see. Enhancing image. And there! Ooh, it's just a bunch of small fishes. There's no giant river monster at all. You can jump into the water and swim to shore, Peo. Oh, no river monster, huh? Okay, then. I can swim to the shore. Thanks, Leo. Hmm, I wonder what type of fishes they are. The fishes in the water are red-bellied piranhas. <gasps> they have razor-sharp teeth and powerful jaws that enable them to bite down with great force. Oh, no! Peo, get out of the water! Huh? What? Oh, I haven't jumped in yet. Okay, that's good. Because red-bellied piranhas swim and hunt in groups called a shoal, which can include more than a hundred piranhas. More than a hundred? That's a lot. Oh, no! Please come get me. Of course, Peo. Stay put and we'll be right over. Thanks, Leo. See you soon. Ranger out. Ranger out. Come on, Katie. Let's go save Peo from piranha-infested waters. Peo, Pico, we're here. Leo, Katie, I'm so glad you found us. Good to see you, Peo. Reach for my hand and climb aboard. <gasps> What's that? Whoa! Ah! Oh, no! Hey! I got you, Peo. <laughs> Phew! I'm okay! That was close. What is it, Hero? <gasps> There's a piranha on your back, Peo! Ah! Get off my back! Shoot! Ah! Leo, it's over there! Get it! Get it! I know! I'm trying to grab it! Come here, piranha! Peo, stop! You can't use your bare hands! It could bite you! Oh, yeah! Oh, no! Ah! Get away from me! I'll get it! Ugh. Watch out, Hero! <laughs> oh no! Hero! Is it gone? I think so. Hero, are you okay? <laughs> that was scary! Huh? What's that sound? Is it a snake? 
<gasps> no, it's worse. Platypus One is sinking. We're sinking. Ah! Oh, no. What should we do? Quick, Leo, activate submarine mode. Right, I'm on it. Platypus One, activate. really see where we're going. The water's so murky. Switch on the lights, Leo. Oh, right. <gasps> Uh-oh. Yikes! The piranhas are following us! <laughs> ah! Let's use flight mode. They can't follow us if we're in the air. Flight mode, activate. Huh? Uh, it's not working. Oh, no! Platypus One must still be broken. Come on, come on, work! Rangers. Ranger Rocky? I got it. Back into the water you go. Thanks, Ranger Rocky. I thought we'll get attacked by the piranha for sure. Actually, piranhas are not as scary as you may think, Junior Rangers. Red-bellied piranhas have a reputation for being aggressive and fearsome, but that's not exactly true. If we don't mess with them, they tend to leave people alone. In fact, Red-bellied piranhas usually eat prey that are already dead. While it's an advantage to hunt in packs, this behavior of traveling in groups is actually due to their fear of predators. I guess we just have to be careful around the red-bellied piranhas. That's right. Stay away and don't provoke them. <sighs> Since there is no ferocious river monster, can we go home now? I'm really tired. Sure, Peo. But first, we need to fix Platypus One. It's been acting up all day. I can help with that, Junior Rangers. Leave it to me. There. This should be enough to get you home. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. All right, Junior Rangers. I've got to collect more animal droppings for my research. See you around. Goodbye, Goodbye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. See ya. Bye-bye. What a day. Let's go home. Okie dokie. Platypus One, activate. It's nice to know that there are no river monsters here. See you on the other side, Zumi. It is on. Ooh. What was that? Those are not rocks. They are hippos. But why are there so many of them here? Maybe Leo can solve this mystery. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Jane. What's up? Hello, Leo. Something strange is happening. A small mud hole is swarmed with hippos. Have a look at this photo. Hmm. That is strange. But don't worry, Jane. We'll figure it out when we get there. Here it is. The hippopotamus. Hippopotamus, or hippos, tend to live in large groups with as many as 200 hippos. Hippos are semi-aquatic mammals. That means they live both on land and in water. But hippos spend most of their time in rivers, lakes, and mud holes to stay cool. In fact, hippos can close their nostrils and hold their breath underwater for as long as five minutes. So, the hippos want to stay cool. But why do they choose such a small mud hole? I'm not sure, Katie. 
We'll just have to head there to find out why. Whoa! Hi, Jane. Hi, Leo. Hi, Katie. Poor hippos. They're squashed like sardines. We should help them find a bigger place to stay cool. A lake? Let's see. A lake. Found one! There's a huge lake just over that hill. Do you see the lake, Jane? You are not going to believe this. Huh? Where's the lake? Look! It's... Ranger, Ranger Rocky! Rocky. <laughs> what are you doing, Ranger Rocky? A rain dance to summon rain. The weather has been a lot warmer this year. And it hasn't been raining much. Would the rain dance work, Ranger Rocky? The hippos are in need of water. I can only hope it would. But what's this about the hippos? They're all squashed up in a small mud puddle. Do you know more about them? I sure do. Hippos might look friendly, but they're dangerous animals. They're super strong and have a mighty bite. The mud puddle is simply too small. We have to find them a new home. I know of a huge river that hasn't dried up. Perfect. We can herd the hippos there. How do you plan to do that, Leo? Hmm. What do hippos eat? Hippos love to eat plants like grasses, small shoots, and reeds. I've got it. I know how we can herd them. All right. Hang tight, rangers. River, here we come. <laughs> We're here! Enjoy! Huh? What's wrong, little guy? It is Mother Hippo. We need to bring her baby back to her. Let's go, Rangers. Platypus One, activate! Hang on, everyone. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Don't worry, little buddy. We'll get you to your mama. It will be okay. Excuse me! Coming through! Gotta get a baby hippo back to its mom! Whoa! <laughs> Hang on, guys! I got you! Oh. I think I'm going to be sick. Uh-oh. Stop! Don't fight! Break it up! It was just an accident! <gasps> oh, no! We are sinking! What do we do now? Activate flight mode! The wings will keep us afloat! Got it! Platypus One, activate! It's the Mama Hippo! Leave it to me, Junior Rangers! <gasps> Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Pardon me! Sorry! Pardon me! Go to Mama! Yay! Now let's get out of here! I love a happy ending! Mission accomplished! My turn! Wow! Oops! Uh-oh! It looks stuck! No biggie! I'll just climb up to get it! Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kyle! Leo, help! It happened so fast! She was just beside me and now she's gone! I can't believe it! What am I gonna do? Whoa, Kyle, slow down! What happened? Who's gone? My Stella! Look! Oh, Stella's just a toy! She's not just a toy! She's my best buddy in the whole wide world! And now she's gone forever! Snatched away by a kangaroo thief! A, a kangaroo, kangaroo thief? thief? Yeah, a kangaroo stole Stella from right under my nose. Luckily, I snapped a photo of it before it escaped. I'll send it to you. Is that Stella in its pouch? 
Yes, I really need your help to get it back. Don't worry, Kyle. Hang tight. We'll be there very soon. That'd be awesome. I'll share my location with you. Ranger out. Ranger out. There it is. It seems our thief is a red kangaroo, the world's largest marsupial. A red kangaroo? What's a marsupial? Marsupials are a group of mammals that carry their young in a pouch. Female kangaroos have a pouch on their belly made by a fold in their skin. They use it to carry their baby kangaroos called jellies. So now we know our thief is a red kangaroo. Let's head to Australia to help Kyle get Stella back. Let's have a look. Hmm, where are you, Stella? Aha, there she is. You see her? Yeah, have a look. Stella, it really is her. But why would a kangaroo want to keep Stella in her pouch? Where's her Joey? Who's Joey? Joey's are baby kangaroos. I don't think she meant to steal Stella. She might have mistaken Stella for her own Joey. That makes perfect sense, Katie. Stella does look like a Joey, which means all we have to do is find her Joey and swap it for Stella. Sounds easy enough, but how are we gonna find it? <gasps> it's her Joey. Let's follow him. So what's the plan? How are we gonna bring the Joey back to his mom? It says here that red kangaroos are plant eaters. They mostly eat grasses and flowering plants. All right then, let's go pick some flowers. Time to go home, buddy. Stella! We're coming! Oh no! The noise from our vehicles must have frightened them. They're getting away! Kyle! We've got to try to herd them back together! Herd? Like sheeps? Exactly! You approach from that side, and I'll approach from the other! Roger that, Leo! Just a bit closer... It's working! They're gathering in the middle! Wait! Stop! We're about to crash into Kyle! Whoa! Whoa! Phew! That was too close! <gasps> They're getting away! Oh no! Oh no! Are you okay, Kyle? She was so close. I could have just reached up and grabbed her. What are we gonna do now? It'll be okay. We just have to find another way to get closer to the kangaroos without scaring them. Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! It seems the kangaroo isn't afraid of the pogo stick. One of the kangaroos mistook Kyle's toy, Stella, for her Joey. We found the actual Joey, but we're having difficulty swapping him for Stella. The mob got away from us too quickly. Well, if you need to chase after them, then you'll have to hop really fast. Kangaroos hop along on their powerful hind legs and do so at great speed. Their muscular tail helps with balance and speed. So, we have to be quick and we can't use our vehicles. I have an idea! Ranger Rocky, do you happen to have any spare pogo sticks? Of course, Katie. I always bring extras. Look! Kangaroos up ahead! Stella! Come on, Junior Rangers! Let's check those pouches for Stella! Stella? Ah, uh, this one's a boy! This one's got her own Joey already. Leo, I think I see Stella in that kangaroo up ahead. I'll check. Katie's right. That's the kangaroo thief. Stella! Let's approach slowly. We don't want to scare her away. Go on, buddy. Go back to your mom. Aw, thanks, bud. 
Yes! I got Stella back! <laughs> you did it! Well done, Junior Rangers! Hero! Hero, get out of the pouch! It's only meant for kangaroo joeys! <laughs> <laughs> huh? What was that? Excuse me. Are you okay, Katie? I feel fine, Leo. Are you sure? Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Farah. I found a proboscis monkey that lost its honk. A proboscis monkey? That's right. They're known for their honks, but this monkey just can't do it. That's a pretty big nose. <laughs> Choo! That was a loud sneeze. It's Katie. I think she has a cold. <sighs> and a really stuffy nose. A stuffy nose? Of course! Maybe the proboscis monkey has a cold, too. It can't honk because of its stuffy nose. Good thinking, Vara. We'll be right over to help. Thanks, Leo. Ranger out. There it is. The proboscis monkey. Proboscis monkeys have large noses. Male proboscis monkeys have larger noses than female proboscis monkeys. In fact, a male's nose can measure over 10 centimeters. So the monkey Fara found is a male. That's right. Their large noses help them honk louder. While proboscis monkeys use a variety of sounds to communicate, males in particular tend to honk to attract females and scare off intruders. We have to help him get his honk back. Hi, guys. Hello, Farah. I found him sitting alone. <gasps> oh, dear. I'm fine. I don't have a cold. Let me check my handbook. Are you sneezing, Katie? I'm not. <laughs> Check. You have a cold. And just like the proboscis monkey, my handbook says you need to keep warm. I don't need to. <sighs> this feels nice. Thanks for the scarf, Farah. But I don't think keeping warm is enough. Katie's right. What else can we do? It says here that healthy foods can fight a cold. There are plenty of fruits in the forest, and fruits are healthy. Great idea, Farah. Let's go pick some for the monkey. This ripe fruit looks good. The proboscis monkey will love it. No ripe fruits for the monkey. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. <laughs> the proboscis monkey can't have any ripe fruits. Because of how their stomachs work, it's dangerous for proboscis monkeys to eat ripe fruits. They might fall sick from it. Instead, Proboscis monkeys prefer unripe fruits. Like this one, Ranger Rocky? Yes, that's perfect. Besides unripe fruits, proboscis monkeys also eat leaves. Leaves sound healthy too. So we'll have to pick leaves and unripe fruits for the proboscis monkey. Glad I could swing by to help. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Bye, Bye Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Can you honk now? Oh, dear. It didn't work either. What else can we do? Huh? What's happening? Hey! Where are you going? Wait for us! Whoa! Let's follow them. Behind. Let's cheer him on, hero. Jetpack activate. <laughs> oh dear, what's going on? The other monkeys are ignoring him because he can't honk. That's horrible. That's it. We have to help him get his honk back. Must find a treatment. Got it. Another way to clear a stuffy nose is to use steam. Steam? I have just that. 
Here, Leo, place this under the monkey's nose. Great idea, Farah. The hot steam from the tea will clear his nose. Here, Katie, you need this too. Ah, wow. I can finally breathe normally again. And you said you didn't have a cold. Can you honk now, monkey? <sighs> it's still not working. Wait, what's that sticking out of his nose? <gasps> Something stuck. It's coming out there. A leaf? <coughs> He's honking. <coughs> it wasn't a stuffy nose. His nose was stuffed with a leaf. <coughs> They're friends again. Bye, monkey. Have fun. <gasps> Let's go home, Katie. We need to get you to bed. Mission accomplished. Hit subscribe and click the like icon.